Hi, my name is Thomas Pissville and welcome back to Today Man. Just like you, I'm a human being too that wishes that I could be more productive throughout my days. Now, what is productivity? Productivity is about getting the results that you want in the least amount of time and effort possible. And why do we want to be more productive? Our answers may vary there because you might be the type of person that wants to go ahead and be more efficient so that you can have more time to relax, be lazy, just sit on your couch without any worries in the world. Or you might want to be more efficient to do something more with your time for example, me, I wanted to be more efficient and more productive so that I could actually start this YouTube channel, which I am currently now doing. What I have for you guys today is a video on seven tips on how to be more productive. Starting with tip number one is to separate your environments. One of the worst things that you can do that hinders your productivity is not having a separate space to go ahead and do your work. You need a separate space such as a desk, preferably not anything like a couch or a bed where you do any sort of relaxing or wrestling. The reason why is because eventually your body starts associating that desk with productivity. So next time you go over to that desk, your body already knows, hey, it's time to start being productive. It's the same way that your body should know that once you get into bed, it's time to go to sleep. Tip number two is to maintain a clean environment. I can guarantee you that if you were given the choice to work in a nice clean environment versus a nasty, dirty, old environment, you would choose the former every time. People seem to underestimate the importance of a clean work environment, but it overall boosts our productivity and our well-being at the same time. If our brains see all that clutter and mess on a dirty desk, we are more likely to feel internally stressed and not happy about our work environment. I know that personally when I have my desk nice and clean or my room nice and clean, I feel less chaotic overall and I feel like I have more control over my life. So make sure that you keep those desks and work environment clean. Speaking of maintaining a clean environment, it's important to make sure that you have a clean self too, which is tip number three. What I mean by that is making sure you look good, making sure you dress well, making sure that you shower every day, deodorant, you wear nice clothes and everything. The better that you look, the better that you're going to feel. And that is what's going to give you the confidence to go ahead and make sure you dominate those tasks every single day more efficiently, which therefore makes you more productive. Entrepreneurs learn this secret very early on that it's important to make sure that you look good for work, even if it means that you're working from home. And entrepreneurs have to be hands down some of the most productive people that I know. Tip number four is to make and use to-do lists. To-do lists are so important in upping your productivity because it keeps you organized and helps you prioritize and focus on what is most important throughout the day. We as human beings tend to be very forgetful and having our things written down somewhere helps us not forget about anything throughout the day. To-do lists can also help to motivate you to continue to move from task to task because you look at the list, you see what you've accomplished and you see how much little you have left before you're free. And crossing off those little check boxes is one of the most satisfying feelings in the world. Especially checking off that last one for the day, you know, you get to go home with a huge sense of accomplishment, knowing that you gave today your all and that you kicked its butt. Now, once you have your to-do list ready and it's time to focus on each individual task at hand, it's important to make sure that you are using your time as productively as possible. Which leads me to tip number five, which is a little something called the Pomodoro Technique. The Pomodoro Technique is a method where you focus on the task at hand for 25 minutes and then at the end of the 25 minutes you take a 5 minute break. After about 4 or 5 rounds of this, you can go ahead and take a little bit of a longer break, usually about 15 to 20 minutes. The idea behind this is that it instills a sense of urgency into your day knowing that you only have a limited amount of time to get as much progress as possible done on a task. For the Pomodoro Technique, I absolutely love using this app called Forest. It kind of turns the Pomodoro Technique into something of a game. So what you do is you choose a tree that you're going to grow and it'll continue growing while the timer is going. But the catch is that you can't leave the app at any time or else your tree will die, which kind of sucks. The more you stay focused, the more coins you get where you can buy cooler and better looking trees for your forest. One of the best parts about this app is that they partner with Trees for the Future, a real tree planting organization that plants real trees on our earth the more you use the app. I can't think of a better way to have fun while staying focused and save our planet at the same time. Tip number six is to take breaks. This one may seem counterproductive to being more productive because you might be thinking, why would I take breaks? What is the point of me taking a break? I could be using this time to go ahead and get more stuff done instead of sitting here doing nothing and just resting. 
But the truth is that in order for you to stay sane, you have to allow yourself to take breaks. A break is simply defined as stopping whatever task you are doing for a short amount of time with the intention of getting back to it as soon as possible. The Pomodoro technique doesn't work without the five minute break every 25 minutes. Not taking breaks will lead to exhaustion and burnout, which will not only be detrimental to your productivity, but also to your mental health as well. Small breaks can renew your focus and boost your motivation to go ahead and push through those tasks that you have to complete throughout the day. And finally, tip number seven is to learn to calm the mind. Distraction is not the enemy of focus, but rather overstimulation is. The Elon Musk of this world, the Steve Jobs of this world, the Bill Gates of this world, they all have the same amount of distractions available to them as you and I have. The only difference is that their minds are used to being less stimulated than normal people like you and I, so they crave less distractions. Their minds are calm, their minds are at peace. What we need to do is get to their levels and make our minds just as calm that could be done through things such as exercise and meditation. If we get there, our mind doesn't have to be jumping from place to place looking for distraction after distraction. Our minds move forward continuously, not by going faster, but rather by having space. I heard this analogy on a TED talk that I'll leave the link in the description for that talks about how our brain is like a highway. If you look at what allows the traffic to go ahead and move forward, it's not the speed of the cars, but rather the amount of space between each vehicle that allows them to move continuously and at a steady pace. Keeping our brains working properly and having good mental health will allow our brains to go through continuous flow, therefore boosting your productivity as well. And guys, those are the seven tips that I recommend that you personally go ahead and implement into your life ASAP to see better results in your productivity. Remember, productivity is not only important to your work, but to your life overall. It determines the state of our lives. It gives us a sense of accomplishment, but it's not just about that sense of accomplishment either. It also frees you up to have time for other things that you'd like to do, maybe spend it with your family, relaxing, or other projects that you'd like to start. I hope this video helped you guys out and I can't wait to hear about how productive you guys are all going to be from now on. Like this video if it helped you out in any sort of way, comment and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and it would mean a lot to me. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Peace out.